Bill again from Normandy. It's beautifully sunny and I'm with the upside down chicken today or rather the upside down rooster and we're looking after our neighbour's poultry while they're away and I thought I'd have a go at doing something about him. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything but I'm going to have a try at it. What I think he's got is torticollie rye neck and that is due to a nutrient deficiency, well a lot of trace elements basically including vitamin E, selenium, B12, thiamine, nicene, it's quite a list of them. By the way, I've also seen Rynek referred to as stargazing. I think this is confusing because stargazing is a particular illness caused by a deficiency in thiamine, which I've treated in one of my bought quail. And its symptoms are an extreme arching of the head, neck and spinal column in which the head is thrown completely back. So you've got the idea that the bird is looking at stars. And for me, the treatment is thiamine and it's worked. So I brought along various eatables for him. Yesterday, this is the second day. Yesterday I gave him some liver. I couldn't actually get him to stand up to eat the liver. I did hold him and get him to drink it. And then finally I had to actually hand feed him. You have to use your judgment in these sort of cases because you're trying to get essential nutrient into the bird. But you also don't want to add to the burden of stress, which is a cogent factor in this condition. That's why I use organic beef liver because it's a nutrient dense foodstuff, but also it's easy to digest and to eat. Oh, that was good. And also, I gave him some sunflower seeds. Vitamin E is a big problem uh, with rye neck. So I thought that would be a good thing for him to have. And I brought him some mealworms as well. Yeah, and that again was well. for various B vitamins and methionine. Yeah. So I don't know whether there's any immediate difference. He does seem a bit more chirpy today. He's a lot calmer. That's just because it's got used to me. And I've got these yellow fingers due to the fact that I've bought some turmeric. I've grated it and put it in coconut oil. I've wrapped it in lettuce. It's a bit like one of those fancy aperitif snacks because I thought it was going to be a bit difficult to give it to him because it's very hot today. I could see it melting and him getting in a big mess. The turmeric contains the active element curcumin and that is something which can actually repair damaged neurons and I get the feeling that's what he's got because he's got really real big problems actually even walking as you'll see in the film that I shot of him just now. So I'm going to have a go. Now yesterday he couldn't actually pick this up. I had to give it him today. He's doing really well. There's his beef liver. Mmm that's an improvement for a start. We've got some other chickens here with us that are a bit... No, no, they're not going to eat your liver, you eat it. Ooh, he likes his liver. I actually have cured Rynek in a duckling before, but that was when the duckling wasn't that old. He's getting on for a few months old now, so try and get him this into his beak. Try and get him quite firmly. Hold him firmly. Oops, very big button. Oops. Yeah. It's a bit ungainly, but we got it down here. Yeah. Now there's some. Did you eat it? Yeah. Oh, great. Now, we should get some salad because B12 works in synergy with folate, B9. So he needs some. I don't know how much grass he can eat normally. Oh, you like that? Oh, your lettuce. Try and control your neck and see if you can eat it. Mm, you're not so keen on the lettuce as you were on your liver. Come on, don't be a baby. Eat your, eat your lettuce. That's a good chick. Now, what about sunflower? Let's try sunflower seeds. 
I filled you up with liver. Oh, nice try. Oh, it's nice, nice lettuce. Yes. I've tried to see if he can do it himself. Come on, eat some lettuce now. Just had a go. Oh, yes, that's good. Buy some more sunflower seeds. Yeah, you like that. Oh, yeah. This is good eating in this because then if he drops them, he can pick them up again. He's doing really well. Whoa, you are doing well. There's a definite improvement as regards being able to focus on where the food is and actually pick it up. Now, whether that is just his stress level has gone down, but I think all these things are linked. I'm absolutely certain that Rynek is very much linked to stress. Upside down chicken. So, what about how he's treated by his peers? There's all talk about birds attack other birds when they're ill or handicapped in any way. Actually, in my experience, that's not true. Birds are all individuals, the way they've been brought up, the way they've been treated, what they eat, everything affects their behaviour. What I found with him is that the cockerels here. Well, they're commercial, industrial-type birds. They tend to be a bit aggressive. As you can see here, he does get a bit of flack from the cockerels. And actually, the hens get on with him really well, and that may be because, unlike the others, he's very gentle, so they're very accepting of him. It's not so true when it comes to competition for food, and I think that's probably what has aggravated the situation, that he started out with a deficiency and then that's got worse because he's competing for essential nutrient and he hasn't got the really bad bendy neck anymore that he had at the start. At the beginning, when I used to put him down and having fed him, he would go into this sort of corkscrew for a little while as if he was just unwinding from the stress of being fed. Although at the time, he seemed okay. Okay, you could eat this. We don't like the taste of the turmeric. That's a bit nice. Oh, you're eating it now. Tweezer. Do you like the coconut oil? Is that what you like? I thought you would. Yeah. Can you eat it? You can eat it. Yeah, it's quite a strange taste. So have, have, don't ever give a bird anything I wouldn't eat myself. So I have tried all this. It's definitely the combination. <laughs> yes. It's uh, the yeast. Yeast flakes are quite a strange taste, but they're high in, vitamin, in um, riboflavin in particular, so very good for nervous complaints. Oh, he's certainly got more friendly and has got movement, but every now and again gets this palsied thing, palsied sort of movement. But and he's friendly, he talks to me all the time, so yeah, he's definitely getting his folate now. He wasn't eating for he wasn't eating any greenery before, he's doing it now, so that's good. <laughs> we can eat upside down. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's it. That's it. Well, massaging it brings it up okay. Seems to be okay when you do that. Yesterday he refused his liver because I'd put turmeric on it. Instead of just trying to put the turmeric into his mouth this time, I decided to put it in his liver and he really turned up his beak at the liver. So I'm not doing that again. Mmm, nice. I haven't got the turmeric today. Happy about that, aren't you? Mm, it's all gone. You've only got that tiny bit left. you that? Mm, yeah. Good boy. Now normally he goes, when he's finished eating, he normally goes into a bit of a spasm. I'll see if that happens. No, he's looking for some more. <laughs> some more? There's only these bits. Nothing much. Sorry. 
So this is a departure from my usual sort of film. I like to have a beginning, a middle and an end, and I like the ending to be happy. In this case, though, there is no end because it's just a brief interlude in the life of this cockerel. And we were only with him for two weeks and I'll leave it for you to decide whether it was worth it. I know it was to me and I hope it was to him. Thanks for watching.